up, it becomes even more panemius, you might say. So the more, the higher you get, the, panemius, the higher you go, mm -hmm. the panemius becomes more panemius dick. Till at the top, it becomes the most panemius dick of all the panemius. Well, if it's the opposite, Basim, if what's coming down is Kutzon, right? And what's, what on level B is Kutzon, and on level A becomes Panim. Now, if you go back up, not, not retracing the steps, but going back up the ladder, it's already Panim, you're more, more, more than that you can get, right? You're going from, uh, you know, um, what's the ex uh, expression, wait a minute, one second, wait a minute. Yeah, well, that's the point. Wait a minute. What's the expression? A minori ad minorem. You can't get more than that. You're going from minor to major, right? From from. It's more than Oh. Mordechai, you want to stay for the party? Uh, I just, no, that's not what I said. I, I, I can't interrupt, Mori. I can't interrupt. Now. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Now, so the Panim, is it, if you're going, if you're going up, Mordechai, you can sit in the study if you like. So you're going up, you're going up, the Panim, is becoming the chutzon. Uh, I mean, pardon me, the panim is becoming more panim. Because, because things are going from worse to better, right? So the, the, the more you go up, the, the more panim you get, right? So, so when you get all the way up, you got to the maximal amount of panim. There's no more panim to get, right? Okay. Hmm. Now, now the chutzon on the way down becomes a panim to the next level, right? right. What's what is chutzon and atzilus becomes panim and bria, right? right? Now that 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 so to speak that panim as it um, oh well, well yeah well what you could say is that the chutzon the chutzon was always there. The chutzon gets drawn in to become panim as it descends. That's always there. Right. Now, so when you go back up, what's happening is that the chutzon is being mavato. The chutzon is being, I don't want to say destroyed exactly, it's being overcome in this movement so that all should become panim. Which, when you think about it, is the whole purpose of the aliyah, the whole purpose of ascent, is in order to be mavato, mavato chutzon, in order that chutzon should give way to the panemius. Right. Oh, so now this whole dynamic is the dynamic of revelation. It will also be the dynamic. Oh, I'm sorry. And this whole, this whole dynamic is the dynamic of revelation. It's the basic dynamic. It's, it, 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 is, it is the dynamic by which revelation occurs. It will therefore be the dynamic by which revelation is brought about in a human being. By which that presence of the Torah, which is to say, in, a very fa in, 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 in effect, the very indwelling presence of Hashem, of God in us, All right. Very in, that very indwelling presence of Hashem, that very that very character of revelation as the indwelling presence of Hashem, that's what's being brought about in 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 in, in us, and we will see that the characteristic gesture in this, which I want us all to think about and to explore, is this gesture of whereby the chitzon becomes the pinim. Now, chitzon in human life means many things. It means at the exterior of your life. But it means many things by that. It means what you wear, what you eat, what you do, what you, the way you look, or how you conduct yourself. And it means also things which are more subtle. It means, it means, it means things that we might think are penin sometimes. It means mm -hmm. attitudes, values, things like that. The penin is the focused presence awareness of a person on the presence of God. That is the penin. The focused awareness of your being 
on, God, on, on, on the presence of Hashem and bringing about and maintaining the presence of Hashem mm -hmm. in the midst of life, that is the Pinin. Now, that, that, now what attacks that is the Chatsonius, or draws away from it. Now, therefore, let's say, let's say, let, let, let's just take a, a case. Now, it would be a, a very effective case. It's the case of the whole discussion that went on before. That, 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 that what has to be held in mind then is not, is not, is this good or is this bad? How does this look or how does it not look? Is it mature or is it not immature? Or is it this, is it that? But what is the will of God here? Is the will of God to accede to a certain value structure that is appropriate, uh, 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 nice, and it's more than nice, uh, 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 I don't know how to put it, uh, the only word I keep coming back to is mature handling of the situation, not necessarily, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Often, often that's a hallmark of the, of, 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 of the will of Hashem, but I think it's a mature, considered, sensitive judgment. But not necessarily. It is not, it's not an ironclad rule. No. But what is the will of God here that sometimes may not be good, nice, I don't know, convenient, whatever, sensitive or mature? Sensible. May not be. Sensible. Yeah, yeah it, it may not be sensible. It, it may not be its opposite. Its opposite it will not be. Not, not when examined. When examined, the will of God will never be the opposite of what is true as, as sensibility, or, or it won't be the opposite of it, it's just maybe an aspect of it that we never considered. Or a way in which it could be followed that we never considered. Now, we have to also recognize, again in keeping with this, that often the mistaken positions that we may take in that, or when we're barking up a wrong tree in trying to apply that, they are also the will of God. It's also the will of God that, that we pursued a point that we thought was true and we have to be faithful to it till we see that we're not. Till we see that it's not so. Till we see that it's not so. At which point when we see that it's not so, then we have to say, not so, and I have to turn around in the middle of the course, in the front of everybody, and take the other point of view. We have to see that. We have to see that. That's also the same ability as when you, when you no matter how many mistakes you make in dealing with people, in, in dealing with another person, you know, you offend them, or you upset them, or you uh, insult them, you know, that no matter, no matter, no matter how, how, how uh, almost uh, uh, useless it seems, or uh, almost, uh, uh, how shall I say, um, hypocritical, you must be able to back up and say, oh, I did the wrong thing, I'm sorry. Even though it happens again and again. The ability to back up in there, to admit one's wrong, is, is, is essential, it's essential. And that ability itself is the will of God, never mind the wrong. I mean, I mean the wrong, the wrong, yes, of course it's wrong, but, but you see, one, is, one is growing in the stature of manifesting divinity, not because one overcame, necessarily, one overcame perfectly understandable human uh, tendencies to misjudge or act immaturely or uh, 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 whatever in a moment of selfishness, which, uh, which the Torah understands is the, the raw material of human nature and all too present. But rather one is manifesting and, and becoming a vessel of Hashem in that they can recognize that and back up and act accordingly. And that they can accept their imperfection and, and act accordingly. I want us all very much to think about this, and very much to think about this in relationship. Now, I don't mean this specifically, I mean, I, oh, I mean this, I mean in relationship to, to, to us, to the four of us. But I mean, I mean that, that all of us are in a certain way, and I want, this is what I want everybody to think about, is that all of us in a certain way, because we are operating at such a level of intensity, and and I include, incidentally, certain other people that are not always in this group uh, here. And I would, for one, I would in, uh, include um, Bracha. And for one other, I would include, uh, I, I think, um, uh, uh, who, who are all, 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 all way, almost always, give and take certain problems, 
uh, trying to carry out the will of God, and that ability or that orientation is more than oriented. That whole thing of doing that is enhanced and fed and sparked by the relationship with the other four people, with the other three or four people, the other three or four or five people. In other words, it's the constant interchange between us that that brings us back to doing that, you know, it, and and that schleps us through various experiments in how we're doing that. That, but that brings us back. Now, finally, it is that all of this and this dynamic, all of this is the sort of the sukkah. That this is all the sukkah that the sukkah embraces space but doesn't embrace enough. That the things in it, but there are not enough things in it. That the things in it are being brought to perfection, yet they are remaining in their human state. The sukkah is a statement of the resolution of the contradiction of existence as as blocking out God, and yet it is obviously a statement as a whole thing, all the place called the sukkah, in which God is being manifest in terms of all of all the disparities of of the things that are in it and part of it and 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 embraced by it and excluded by it. And this is realized finally and in the most exclusive, ex 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 expansive po point in Shmini Atzeris and brought to yet a further point in, in Simchus Torah. Good, I think we'll stop there. Okay. Understand? Yeah. Physically clear. You can hear. I was shouting. I have to relax for a week. No. Just my lungs. No. No. You always find that you. Well, I thank you. We always find that we can do more than we think we can do.